Hi, everyone. Welcome to Beacons of Balance. Thank you for being here with us today. I'm Arlene. I'm Joanne. And we have wonderful Dr. T, who I'll introduce shortly. Thank you for coming on. As I said, Beacons of Balance, we're here. This world is a place of duality. It's not going away. It's up, down, left, right, black, white. So we're here to share pearls of wisdom from different speakers and what we just have to talk about, always in love and peace. This is Anthony, Dr. T. Cahill. How would you like to be addressed? Dr. T or Tony or? Dr. T, please. Dr. T is your primary, okay. Dr. T was a doctor of chiropractic. He has a Bachelor of Science in Human Biology, a certified clinical hypnotist, a certified massage therapist, and the originator of the world's foremost remote healing training, which is called TNT Total knowledge technique and the n comes from k n big n <laughs> knowledge technique and also has 10 online programs that could work on humans and animals for which, things that are going on or miss going on in their lives which is wonderful right. so you could tune into that so thank you so much for coming on it was a little <laughs> challenging because I think with the solar flares going on right now also, don't you feel? But you're actually right now in Nicaragua, right? Yeah, and there was a huge, the first uh, winter storm of the year hit last night, and I I, I, mean, I, I can't believe I'm even here. <laughs> so wow. I'm pretty excited. There was a lot of lightning, a lot, a lot of rain, and then very exciting wild storm in the night. So uh, that could be interfering with the internet connection. But I'm just glad we got we got on and we're here. Yeah. Thanks they for bringing the angels in to make that happen. I want to tell everybody, we, Joanne and I, we worked <laughs> with the angels. And we know the communicators, Archangel Michael. So we were doing our thing. Gabriel is who we were. And Dr. T it worked. Here. It worked. I was on for an hour. I couldn't get on. All of a sudden, boom, it came through on my we, phone. We so got thank him. You. We got him on. We worked with them. So Dr. T, God, your background is so, so fascinating. I was really, you know, when I found out about it, it was really drawn in and resonated mm -hmm. with things. So Tell us about your, you know, really your beginnings. I mean, how do you have so many facets? I read a little bit and heard you talking about your past, where you grew up. You grew up on a farm. Yep, I grew up on a, on a small uh, a farming community in Illinois called Stockton, <laughs> Illinois. And my father was a chiropractor in the town. So he worked on all the local farmers and, and all, you know, all the local people. And so, so being in a small town, like that's where all the work was, is on the farm. So I always, I always kind of, I always spent all my, most of my time on farms throughout the summer and then mostly in the winter. But growing up in a family with a, with a chiropractor, dad was into a lot of stuff early on back in the seventies, uh, acupuncture. He learned acupuncture, but one of the first in America to learn it back in, I believe it was the mid seventies, that 75 for his mother who was suffering with uh, arthritis. So I've always had that kind of the background around healing. He was very much uh, a, a lot of supplements, uh, fresh food, uh, fresh milk from the farms, uh, fresh meat. Mom always did tons of canning. So we always, you know, we kind of were very holistic family, but I had no interest. I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't for me. I was more of a, I don't know. I just always thought I would be working on a farm. <laughs> How many, do you, you have siblings? Yeah, six, six, uh, four wow. sisters and two brothers. Wow, wow, that's you know, so. Just quickly, so have any of them? Do they pursue uh, medical, or are you worthy? Yeah, uh, my I have a brother is a is a chiropractor, very very good, very good chiropractor. He does different, you know, we do different work. And then I guess probably my other brother uh, fixed uh, uh, machines in hospitals. And uh, all of my sisters wow. are involved in healing in one way or another, whether it's uh, horses or farm or oh, just awesome. being healers. They're just natural. Just natural. Everybody in my family is kind of in, around healing in some way, shape, or form. Great. Wow. So how did you get involved with the angels? Because like, I know you were, was, you were on a farm, you had several injuries on the farm, but how did the angels come into your life? <laughs> well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll, I'll make it short. It just, it just started happening naturally. You, you know, I got I got injured on, on the farm. I, I was I got shocked. I was, I was cutting a, a, a giant implement, a giant disc, and it was real misty morning. I was probably 14. And I got shocked and, and it was out of body experience. And, and, and I, I rose up out of my body after about an hour that looking back on the time frame, I was out a couple hours. It, it knocked me out completely. I have them out. But I, I, as I rose up out of my body, it's like, I could see my body as I was rising up and everything kind of just turned into an operating room. All of a sudden there's, you know, six doctors standing around with their masks on all looking down at me. And they had, they had flashlights on their heads, the whole nine yards They're just standing there shaking their heads. And, and then this very large, bright white light came in. It was a woman's voice. 
and they just kept looking and kind of poking me <clears throat> and i didn't i had no idea what the heck was going on i'm like i, I was just kind of you know I, I wasn't really conscious but i was watching all of this happen and that that bright light just came in sorry boys you know he's got he's going back and boom it was just like a flash and i woke up on the on the floor Amazing. And I just, I had no idea what, what had gone on. I walked down the milk house and of course my boss was like, you get up there and get that field plowed boy. You know, I mean, that's kind of what you did back then. You know, I was like, I'm going like, home. I was, I was roasted. My gloves were roasted. My, my boots were burned. Holy crap. Wow. And I went home and, and, uh, and then, uh, and, and basically I just kept it to myself. I mean, I, I tried to tell, I mean, I told my dad what would have happened. He got, he was kind of like scuffed. He was busy. He ran up. So, you know, the, when you're with a family with that many kids, you don't get too much attention from your parents. Yeah, you know? I have to laugh. Could you imagine in this day and age? I, I'm I mean, sorry. I don't want to laugh about, but you were electrocuted. You go home. Your parents go, oh, go do your thing. Just yeah, go do your thing. Could you imagine now? Oh my God. Oh um, yeah, no, no, oh yeah. There's, there's so many times, so many times, so many times. Yeah, and, and and you know, and and you know, back then, you know, we're talking probably uh, again, like 1975. There was no you know, no internet. There's no. you know no 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 bookstore, <laughs> no library. I mean, a library had had no books at all on any of this stuff back then. There's no new age stores, not none of that. Plus, I was in this little tiny farm town. You know, just. It just that none of it would have made sense to anybody back then. Well, and so well, let me interject. That was my, when you saw the, thing, the the lights on and the look, at, those were actual doctors. So in other words, you weren't taken to a hospital. That was what you saw when you were out of your body. So those were other yeah. beings, beings looking at you. Work. I I don't know. I I always assumed it was my mind that made up this metaphor of these. Do I mean, I I don't know. Um, it looked like it, they looked like doctors. You know, you look I like do. surgeons. That's what I was going to ask. And they're they like point. poking me and prodding me. And they're just like, just kept shaking their head. No, I'm thinking, I'm just sitting there going, what in the heck is going on? And, and uh, you know, a, a few, about a year or so ago, a client brought me a, a little statue of an angel. And, and she said that this was based on, from the Old Testament. This is what the angels look like in the Old Testament. Well, I opened up the, the, the gift. I was like, that's what I saw. It, it looked very much like that when I was a kid. Wow. Uh, they don't look like our depiction of angels, what we think of it. It was a different looking, it's like a giant wing, very similar. Yeah. But if you look at the Old Testament, the, the, the diagram of angels in the Old Testament, you'll see this this diagram. That's what it looked like. I was so pretty shocked. I was like, that's, that's, who you had, that's who you had working on you. You had yeah. angelic intervention that did the healing on you. And that's how you were able to come. Because if you were electrocuted, Dr. T. Oh, no, no uh, yeah, no, I, I, I know, I, you know, it's. A little further in the story, when I was coming down, trying to come down the stairs after I slept for like a day and a half, the town electrician was downstairs talking to my dad. My dad worked in our house and we would, this kids would have to wait upstairs on this, wait up, up above the stairs before we could walk through the office to get into the living room. Mm -hmm. And so the town electrician was there telling my dad, ah, he's, he's lying to you, Ronnie. There's, there's no way it's impossible. He, there's no way he would survive that many amp because I was cutting you know, two inch thick steel. So I, I didn't even look at the amp. I just turned it all the way high as the machine would go. And the welder is known as a tombstone model. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, so, and then of course, yeah. back then all of our equipment was, was just, wasn't very good. The farm I worked on, he, you know, he just wasn't very good equipment. And somehow it was a misty morning. Somehow all that, you know, getting shocked like that. I should, shouldn't have, shouldn't have survived that really. Wow. Did they ever come back to you in that form or? Just show up for anything? Not, not, not as clear as that one. I, I had had one other experience with them where it was similar, but not as cl not as clear as that. And again, I just found out about that whole image uh, in the last year. And so when I did see, uh, did have that that experience again, I I didn't know what to look for. It was kind of everything was happening so fast. It was you know it's it's almost like a warp in time when you have that experience. You know, everything kind of slows down. Uh, yeah. Sounds are are different. Right. Uh, it's thought transfer, instantaneous thought transfer. Yes. Uh, so I was, you know, I was there thinking, hey, I want, I want to come back. I want to get my body. <laughs> you know? hey, everything's telepathic. You know, it's like. Absolutely telepathic. Yep. Yeah. Because I've had so several. Could, could you bring us back then? Let's, because you have so much, like I said, and we have limited time. Could you go back? And so the steps. So you were 14, you got electrocuted, went through that. So then go, go through the steps of now what happened in your life as far as what steps you took on what you did. There was, you know, I did a lot of different, I had a lot of different jobs. I had a lot of different things I was doing. I wasn't involved in healing at all. Mm -hmm. And another long story short, as I got injured, uh, I tripped over a leaf basically and snapped my leg in two places uh, through both malleol, both, both medial and lateral malleol. It's called a bimalleolar fracture. It's next to impossible to happen. But I tripped over a leaf. And snap, snap, I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, 
I just broke my leg. She said, oh, come on, get up. There's no way. You just sat down. <laughs> I said, I heard it. I'm pretty sure. And so I did. It, it, I, I sheared my leg in two on a leaf playing oh, a game. And as I'm, as I'm recovering, that's when they came into my mind, literally came into my mind and said, you're going to school. You're, this is what you're doing. You're going to become a doctor. And it was a little more blunt than that. It was really short, sweet, but it was like, no more games. You're going to become a doctor. You're going to, you're going to school. And there's a whole background around all that, how that all happened. I, that I'm, I'm finishing a book, my book so that people can read the whole story. I don't really have time to get through all of that. But next thing I know, I mean, it was completely a, 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 a chiropractor helped me with, uh, with some pain that I was experiencing. I had another angelic experience after that pain was released. And that, and then three months later, I slip on a leaf and break my leg in two places. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm a pretty agile guy. People would call me a monkey. I'm, you know, I'm pretty athletic and what you I don't trip on leaves. When, when you were coming out, I said to Joanne, I said, he's in Nicaragua. I wonder if the monkeys were chewing the wires. The spider monkeys yeah. got him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, I, I'm, oh, still, I'm still pretty shocked that we're on here right now. It's pretty cool. I'm really no, glad this no, happened. No, 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 no. Keep it going. Oh, we're so glad you got okay, your... So, so you got the message to become a doctor, but you were also a massage therapist, a hypnotist, a hip, yeah, clinical. Yeah, I started. I started with that because because uh, 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 there's a couple of accidents in there where I got hurt. One of my bones was not healing, and on my way home from the doctor, he was like, "Okay, you got about two more weeks, and we got to do a m massive surgery on you. We got to take a bone off your hip, a uh, vein out of your leg, and replace because it's navicular bone is very hard. It's the hardest bone in the body to heal. Of course, I've broken it twice." <laughs> So the second time I broke it, he was like, yeah, if this doesn't happen, we have to do this major surgery. So on the way home, I saw a, I saw a garage sale I stopped at, and there was a book, Heal Your Stood Off with Hypnosis. That, that's not the exact name. A couple of women had written the book, and, and they were throwing it out. So I flipped the guy a quarter, took the book home, opened it up, read the first chapter. And I was like, well, I, I can do, I can make a, I can make a cassette. So I just made my own cassette. And listened to it every day, four or five, six times a day for 10 days, I think it was, and, and went back in and it was completely healed. So that opened up my mind to like, wow, I can't believe. And, and the doctor was like, oh, that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, he have been seeing me for six months. It wasn't healing. And we healed it in 10 days. And so that really got me, got my, you know, got my mind moving towards health and healing. Yeah. I studied it, spent a couple of years studying hypnosis and a lot of different things. It really has brought, a, a, it's really helped me in my life in many other ways besides just the, that, that form of healing. And then these things start happening. And, you know, this doctor was like, you know, gosh, you know, Tony, you've, I've known you for six months. You've had 10 different jobs. As soon as you get in there, you figure something out, you're just bored. And so you, so you move on. You'll, you'll never figure out the human body. You'll never figure it out. It'll keep you busy the rest of your life. And he was right. And so that's, you know, that's how I, when I got the message, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Cause I, even when he told me that I was like, there's no way I'm not, I can't go to school. I mean, I was 35 years old to take my first college class. <laughs> I was just like, no, I can't. Plus I was terrible in school. I was a daydreamer. I was never, you know, I was, I'm, I was a typical not home. I, you know, I was really great at skipping school. <laughs> and so. How did you get the title of human engineer? That's ben cool he was a client of mine 20 Ooh. years ago. I, I hypnotized him. I massage. I do all these different things to him. And we finished the session and he sat up and he's just like, oh my God. He says, you're, you're no chiropractor. You're a human engineer. I love uh, it. He was, a, he was a real creative guy. And so we we grabbed the website and everything back, you know, it's 20 years now. Uh, but yeah, he was the one who came up with that. And you know, I've been, I've studied so much stuff. I, you know, it's, it's really how you, you know, by, by looking at all these medallions, all these different things, you start the windows start, you start getting these little peaks at how things could come together better. Right. And so that's where TNT came from. And TNT was a joke. I mean, <laughs> it was a joke. I was at a seminar with another guy and, and, and he's like, yeah, you really should teach. I said, teach what? And he said, well, just, you know, you can explain these things better than the teachers. And so just, Put it together and teach. I said, well, we, what are we going to call it? He says, call it dynamite. Oh my God, that's good. <laughs> and I said, oh, TNT, that sounds TNT. good. And Why so not? we came up with a name 20 years before uh, I, I actually put form the, uh, the technique. So it's kind of funny. Oh my God, that's <laughs> God good. bless Craig. He's out there somewhere. I love that title though. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Dynamite. I mean, what can you say? Yeah. <laughs> It's it's so nice. I'm going to attend your class. Just so everybody knows, Dr. T will be 
at Omega Institute, which is a wonderful place. I know you love it also. And I've been there a few times. It's in Rhinebeck, New York. They do have facilities in different, I think they go different, they go to Costa Rica and that too. But in any event, he'll be there June 23rd to the 28th, correct? And then you have another class that you're going to be sharing with some other folks. Yeah, that's a, a all at Omega. And then we're also doing a TNT in Prescott, Arizona. I think it's June. Prescott, yeah. Third and fourth or something like that. So Eighth or ninth. Sorry, I don't have my date. It's all on my website. That's okay. It'll be listed down below. We'll have all your links and everything. Awesome. People can find you and, and connect with you and so forth. One question I wanted to ask you, what type of groups, you, you, you said you're really not with the, um, don't call them the archangels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just think, you know, I've always felt that they're busy. Um, when I started working with angels, I was always, you know, I, I, I was always questioning myself, well, who, what angels are you working with? What, what is exactly is happening? And so for my class, I needed to, I needed to be able to define what, how, how this is, how this is happening so fast. How is this healing taking place so quickly? And so I, I, I came up with a set of instructions that, okay, this group is going to do this and this group is going to be in charge of this. And so there, there are two different, very specific things that they do, but I just made it, I mean, I had to, I had to come up with some way to, to pass this on to you or other people. So I define what this first group does and what the second group does. And they're two very different things. I'm just picking up intuitively is like one group for emotions and the other group for f more physical. Pretty, pretty, you're, you're pretty, it's pretty close. Uh, I have one, you know, uh, emotion, emotion. What, what happens when we're yelled at when we're a kid, right? That scar comes in, we, right. it, it sits in there our entire life. And then we, we have a tendency to uh, have that reflected in our, in our entire experience. So what happens when, what happens when we got yelled at or whatever it was, what happens? It's like a, it's like a glitch in the matrix. You know, it's kind of like the, the, yeah. the matrix movie, the opening scene where it's like, eat, there's a little glitch in there. So that's the first thing that we use the the first group of angels for is clean up those glitches, and so we have to. So so in order to do that, you have you the, the 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 student needs to understand what those glitches are and how they, you know, how they're put together, how they're within the mind body, so that you can tell the angels how to clean them out of somebody. Right. And so there's so many things you can, you know, you could, uh, you know, you could have a bad business venture and you shut it down and you move on in life and go do something else. You're, you're also tied into everybody else who's had that bad business venture, right? So now oh. you're, now you're attuned to a negative field. You have resonance with a negative field that's following you around. Yeah. So uh, this is just an example. So we use one group of angels to eliminate that, to, to get rid of those glitches so that you don't have that resonance with that field of failure. Yeah. And so you can walk away from that clear. I like cleared, clean, cleansed, and perfect, imperfect uh, space. You know, it's kind of like how, how you know, we, we have, there's so much manifestation work out there, but what if all these errors and glitches are, you know, we're out there saying, I am, I am wealthy, I am rich, I'm going to be rich, or, or whatever our, our affirmation is. What if we have all this dirt, all these glitches stopping the clarity with our intention and our active observation within the universe within consciousness right so using the using these angels to clean all that up we become way better manifestors what our our lives change i think anybody has gone through tnt and w w wouldn't agree that everything changes with this <laughs> with this uh knowledge yeah your, always, like, your life just gets better i was always under the belief that you know we come in with like trillions of beliefs from past lives or whatever and if you just work on the physical, I mean, I just worked on a WWE wrestler, they could lift a bus, but give them something that throws them off emotionally or mentally, you know, like his girlfriend was stolen by a bigger star, they crumble. They can't deal. Yeah. They become yeah, no, I, it's, it's, uh, it, this is the, the emotional work is, is amazing. Arlene, I think you were on the call for that gentleman with the foot pain last, uh, last yeah. week where yeah. I, where, where was, where was tracked back to this glitch with his father. Yes. Did you, did you remember father, that? Yeah. Yeah. And his father had. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. His father had it, but but also, but by all, but I also I heard you know I'm I, I you know it's it's not a, I don't consider myself psychic. We I, I use clear audience. So when when we're it, you start any, entering into those spaces, we start to hear you start to get little glimpse of what could possibly be you know gone wrong. Mm -hmm. And for him, it was that little glitch with his with dad in his heart. But remember, it was this tip of his metatarsal that was still painful even though all the other pain was gone out of his feet 55 years of pain there was one little spot he narrowed down to the tip of his metatarsal right remember yeah. yes yes yeah 
and and it was on his left foot. And so I just I just heard loud and clear his dad. It was, it was dad. And so I had him I had metaphorically enter his heart, hand out an olive leaf to his father, and it disappeared. That's cool. So uh, you you are absolutely correct. We come in with all of these uh, all of this stuff, and that is a big part of the or a big part of this work. Whether it's a thought that we come in with, or an experience, and you hear this you hear this a lot, right? You hear this, oh, you know, I must have had my head cut off in a past life. And, well, when we use angels to clear that thought, their neck gets better. So uh, let me ask you something about the your the TNT. So it's more you're teaching whoever comes to your class because that you don't have to be a medical professional. You don't have to have certifications. You could just, it could be whoever. It could be a plumber, you know, whatever. Anybody. A cook, yep. whatever. Are they, are you transposing more for them using the angelic presence to do it? Because they don't, you know, they wouldn't have the knowledge of anatomy, physiology, all that, which you do. You do. I have some of it because I was in tech, so I kind of know the ladle and doing other work but they don't but they could walk away from your workshop and then have the ability to do this yeah it, yeah because i really explain in the workshop it's all about quantum mechanics how the universe actually works so do you need to know where the muscles insert on the groin that feed the hips no you just get a diagram out and when you look or when you look at it your active observation is collapsing all that potential what's the potential an omnipotent being that comes in and does what you instruct it to. That's what angels do for us. When we, huh. when we have the knowledge and we can, you know, we can, we can, I mean, if, if you can imagine it, you don't need a diagram. So I, I usually don't have a diagram with me I'm, because I've seen it so much. I've, I've wrote well, the yeah, technique. You're, but, you're a doctor, but for other yeah. people, lay people out there, they, you give them. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they leave with them. Yeah. Yeah. They have the, we have charts, uh, and, and we go through the whole body. And so if you have this kind of a condition, this is how I would, how I would approach that. We have a lot of secrets. There's a lot of, there's a lot of knowledge. It's just not out there. I mean, there's so many things that the doctors are just unaware of. And, 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 and that includes, uh, you know, chiropractors and acupuncturists, everybody is just, you know, there's just a lot of things that I think that we've discovered, I've discovered over 25 years that I plugged into this, this technique, you know, 25 years ago, this, uh, 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 my ex-girlfriend and I broke up and, and it was very clear and clean and cordial and loving and kind. We just were done. And it was a you know, 10, 12 year relationship. Four days later, I wake up and pee a gallon of blood. What the heck was going on with that? So that's how, that's where this all started. I was like, this is impossible. How did I get an infection? I didn't break my skin. I didn't have, I, I, there, there was no, there was no way it was possible other than that must have been living inside of me. And when enough uh, grief was released from my subconscious, wow, it turned that pathogen loose in my body. Now, what? is it possible that that pathogen lives off of chemicals from my, from my experience of grief? Absolutely. And so we've discovered that we have pathogens in us that will release chemicals that keep you in a in a depressed state that keep you de keep you depressed sad anxious right. and fear is a big one anger absolutely you just you, you know some people who just doesn't matter they're mattering out beautiful day out they're still mad <laughs> you know we all know these people well that a lot of this are pa a lot of them so many pathogens. people and right now bingo you're oh. in, you know the way Everybody. the world is it's in such a yeah. there's so much anger i mean around anger. here people driving they'll kill. it's like i can't we, we don't don't talk You're about the, this it's you, like you know did, did you ever imagine we would see our world like i mean i can't i mean i'm, I know, I'm still shocked I, I don't look at the news i'll i'll take peeks because i like to see what they're yeah, we planning are, yeah right? yeah but we've been doing but, spiritual uh, work so yeah. long you thought finally something is gonna you know people get it it seems like it's going backwards i know I know okay. well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of push and pull that, you know, I don't really talk too much publicly about. And, and, you know, that's the one thing about this class is I lay it all out in the line for this class. You come to this class, you walk away shell shocked because, you know, there's a lot of things that are at play out there. They're pushing and pulling for power. And, and who are they? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's true. It's, it's real. There's, we, we there's a group talking. of people. We, we, we yeah. Know what you're talking. yeah. There's a group of people who want total control of us and our soul. To, it's coming to a head. It's, it's, yeah, it's ready yeah, to, the temple is ready to, yeah, 
Yeah. I completely agree. I completely yeah, agree. I and you know, I, you know, this is also why I think that TNT is so timely. I mean, I, I never imagined I'd be teaching this stuff. And and I had clients kept pushing me, kept telling me, come on, you got to come up with something. Then they started giving me little peaks. They started showing me little things that I had long forgotten. Lots of little uh, things happened in order for all the pieces to come together. So I'm I'm really it's in a state of gratitude <laughs> every day because I just I can't believe we're, we're able to pass this on like this. Yeah. You know, there, there is, um, it's, there's certain layers of knowledge that I'm able to, to download. I mean, literally give you access, same, same access I have. Mm-hmm. It's the same access I have. And, you're, and you're, you're, so, you're, you're so needed. We're so needed. Oh my gosh. Needed. We're all, we're all, 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 all are so needed. And we have yep. to come from this place. People that can't see I'm pointing always to my heart. Get out of this. I get out of your head, go into your heart. Right. Anybody, we really can't say, are we healers? I believe we're conduits for the energy. You yeah. are really zapped at 14, so you got the energy <laughs> for you. <laughs> Wasn't any fun, I'll tell you that. I find that most healers have been through really traumatic experiences. Yeah, we have our stories. Yeah, We've got stories. We won't go into them, but they're traumatic. And this, I think this is why we yeah. are. Uh, I, I, that is a commonality in a lot of a lot of us, you know, and, and even people who aren't doing, you know, the kind of work we're doing a lot, you know, a lot of our, you know, all events, good or bad, are needed, right? We have to have those things happen because That's what it, happens. it forces us. It forces us to grow. I, I, I mean, for years, I, I mean, I, was, I, I really wasn't a very good kid. I'm, you know, I, no, I really feel it. like uh, all of it was timed, right, to force me to grow, to become aware, and and, and become a better person. And yep. so, if you don't have any of these bad things happen, you kind of just get to go through go through it all without uh, without having any of that. You know, without having any of that experience, right? And it helps us to be better empaths because we walk a mile in their shoes, right? Absolutely, um, absolutely. Uh, another uh, question I have is: you said the angels decide uh, if you're going to receive or not. I had a little that perplexed me a little bit because I would think if you're open, you know, you're opening up and you're inviting them in and you're saying, "Here, do this." I mean, I know with anybody, even Christ being uh, a master, not everybody was healed. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you know, you know. I mean, it's, that's the ultimate question, right? Uh, everybody said, "Well, why isn't it working for me?" Well, you know, sometimes it could just be it could be something within something within me, it could be something within them. So, so you know, I, I always you know, if, if I don't have success, I'm always trying to have. Well, look, don't give up. Find another person doing this work who comes from a different place. We have a, a lot of people doing this work now. We're, we're well over a hundred people and a lot of them are having, having the same results I'm having. And, and so it, sometimes it could just be a, a different, different place that, you know, you come from than I do. You have more life experience than me. And so that extra experience could be built into your intent without even knowing it. And you could have better results with that. Well, I'm just um, back to though the angel, this is because I'm looking at the angelic realm. And what I heard is the angels decide if you receive it or not. Not you, not me, not, you know, we're doing our thing. But I would think they're benevolent beings that they're going to do their utmost to give to give that peace. Well, you know, I think I think that, that that's, you know, it has to be a, a big part of it, you know, that they they must have some input into that. It's a kind of a paradox. I, I don't go down that road too much. I just, ex- I expect and I plan on everybody who interacts with this body of work to get better. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, it's, it, they don't, not everybody does, unfortunately. Right. What but, if they needed um, that I, cancer, you know, for that journey to learn something it, from that? A- absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and all be 100%, I mean, you know, the whole world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and, and you know, it, those are the people that keep me up at night, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're the ones who keep you thinking, but they're also the ones that, that push you to learn more, uh, to, to find ways to help them. Yeah. Um, and, uh, another question, yeah. the TNT, does this... I cannot work on everything. I mean, have you worked with people? Any. MS. Um, of course, I know you mentioned COVID, um, um, dementia, and Alzheimer's. And it, 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 we try it with everything. We have to try it with everything, and and we've had results with just about everything. I mean, I, I don't, you know, do I have a cured MS case? Uh, 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 no, I don't believe I do. Uh, we've seen some. I think there were some that we've treated over the years that. Uh, could have become could have become that had we not intervened. So there's you know we have there's knowledge about what drives MS and how it's created. Just like Lyme's disease, Lyme's is the cousin of syphilis. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that's a whole that's a whole another can of worms. Limes is uh, similar to it's the original COVID, and so that's stuff yeah, that we get into our class. Yeah, that's yeah, it's yeah, it's that's that's where that's that's some of the stuff we get into in class more. Um, I don't like to talk about too many things publicly, just because no, you know, I know. it's I know. a new, forgive, new world forgive, we're in. It's a new world. Me. Forgive me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll zip it. No, Lyme, limes is also is also a, a horrible horrible disease. Uh, and it's mostly detox. You know, it, it, we we know it's some kind of pathogen. We know that it's an alter. We know that it's been altered, and we know that it's uh, that it's not just a tick bite anymore. Uh, that it's that it's you know getting out into other animals, other vectors, and different ways of of coming down with that. So it's a, it's another big problem that we're that humanity is facing. You know, I think we we're we're seeing a lot of this stuff now just because of how our world has become. You know, we we polluted the place pretty good. Our no. diets are are not where they should be. The average person eats the standard American diet, which is sad for a reason. And there's a lot of things, a lot of contributing factors driving what we're seeing. I mean, right. you look out across the news right now, all these people, 50 years old, 50. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, you just can't, I can't believe the amount of, of things that we're seeing. We've never seen any of this before. Hey, right. quick question. Can you, can you yeah. get rid of fat? Can we... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take a zip. Can I? Can I, I want that's take off thirty pounds real fast, just like that's that. A that's the transformation I'm going to be a billionaire. No, I, you would it, be it a, certainly. It certainly can increase your metabolism, and there's probably a reason that metabolism is slowed down. And so, to answer your question, yes. Yeah, so what What if you have a, a pathogen in your body that is releasing a chemical that is slowing down your metabolism? Or locking in an adverse emotional state that you're completely unaware that you're completely unaware of. Oh, well. I wasn't even aware I was that deep in grief when my ex girlfriend and I broke up. That was all underneath the level of awareness. I mean, sure we were sad, but not, not, not a gallon of blood worth. Yeah, <laughs> wild. Uh, so you know, a gallon that, of my blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my Still god. Still a little shocking to remember that. <laughs> Do you find that fear is held in the kidneys? Or certain things are held in certain organs of the body. Yeah, right. there's a lot of truth. All of that. Yeah, there's a lot of truth. All of that. Fear. A lot of fear is organic. It's yeah. Food, so that doesn't mean that you, it means that you didn't have a, an experience that scared the living daylights out of you. It just all of a sudden comes on out of nowhere. Well, yeah. What the heck is that? That's a pathogen. That's some kind of pathogen that escaped. Usually gets into the nervous system. We do a lot of nervous system work, and so that will if it's if it's in there rattling a nerve, that nerve will send a message of anxiety to the brain, and especially if it's in the nerve to the adrenals, kidneys. Wow. So yeah, I find a lot of anxiety is organic. Usually, some kind of virus that's in the vagus nerve, usually, yeah. or a poison, some kind of toxin that's that's in there. Because um, I find that the clients that hold the most fear or the most anxiety gland patients have the biggest tumors and cysts on their kidneys. Mm. I see a yeah, pattern that, that after one... working on so many people, you start seeing patterns. Pretty interesting. Yeah. 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 I, I you know, all that, that whole system of, okay, liver is anger, kidneys are fear, lungs are grief. Yeah. That, that, it, 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 that all is pretty, is pretty, pretty accurate. It's all pretty, very accurate. But I'm also finding there's more stuff. There's more things than just that emotion. So okay. if there's a pathogen of grief, releasing chemicals of grief, mm -hmm. actually releasing these chemicals, encouraging more of that to happen in the body, how yeah. do we how do how do we shut that off? Right. We have to kill the pathogen, and that's what these angels are doing. They're they're okay. modul we're using them to modulate frequencies and vibrations to match pathogens that are releasing those chemicals. Right. We've seen depression, lifelong depression, not a single day where the sun is shining, not a single day that looks bright and fulfilling in a 45 year old disappear in 40 seconds. They wow. never remember a day of their entire life. And their mother says the same thing to their grandfather. Then their grand, it goes back down generationally. And, and they just assume that's, that's normal. So oh. I mean, this is some of the stuff that we're going to see is, is really quite, quite shocking. It's, I'm just very, it's, very, it's a lot of fun when somebody when the light comes on and somebody like that it's it's i mean i don't know i don't know what else you call a miracle that, that is a genuine miracle when, when we see that and we see it just about them? every class do you work with the meridians yeah uh i uh, you know the angels do i uh, you know i like i like you know you should we should know i probably should have more with meridians yeah um so I'm not as in depth with them as i probably should be but angels they come in and supercharge everything you know okay. you kind of they are doing the work. You know, I have the knowledge. 
oh, you have a, a, a bad ankle that you've had for 25 years. You injured it in high school playing right. football. Should there really be a bad signal there causing pain 25 years later? Are the tissue, should the tissues be healed 25 years later? Yeah, they should be. And so uh, having that knowledge, I can tell them, hey, come in here and reset that that nerve. And they do it like that. It's that fast. Oh, wow. That's and, really, and that's really, that's, that's super matter. interesting because as you know, being a doctor, and I know, and I'm sure Joanne knows, we get new livers every six months. That's one organ. It regenerates. You get a new liver. But then the question would be, well, if you have that happens, physiology in the body, why is it still in disease? So it's like you 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 bring back the baggage with it. Well, the beliefs are absolutely. still stuck there. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. These these are energetic patterns that get stuck there. Yeah. And well, and so all the blood comes through the liver, right? About every minute, all the blood comes through the liver and these these pathogens, this vibration is there. So the entire body gets it. Yeah, has to. That's what that's what the red blood cells do. They carry, carry vibration, carry frequency, also carry nutrition and all these other things, oxygen. But they're you know we're a vibrational being that's just been collapsed into this physicality, right? right? Where there's really nothing here. <laughs> we're we're a speck of light with a yeah. little bit of meat and bones packed in there, and and this brilliant mind that we get to use. Uh, you know, and, and, and interact with the universe, you know, everything we're looking at, everything that we're, everything that we are doing, we're continually mo modulating and molding our experience in our world. And so with all this extra knowledge thrown in on top and angels, we can just tell them, Hey, do this, do that, uh, match this, have them change their vibration. A lot of, you know, a lot of this work is based on the uh, Royal Rife's work back in the twenties of how um, to, how pathogens, when you match them with the radio frequency, they explode. The Rife, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Rife was way ahead of his time. He, he brought in some, some wonderful stuff. And then I've, I've, I've been able to find other, uh, other older doctors who are no longer with us, little bits of information from them that I was able to, uh, call us. Right. The biggest thing is passing on you being able to do this work in five minutes i mean that that is that was the hardest part is figuring out how to take this access and open open it open it up for you we all have access to angels i mean everybody yeah. has access to angels but when we add the knowledge and this little it's like a thought transfer you know i learned this uh i learned this from um i learned this in the in, in, uh, hypnosis school where these guys were doing nonverbal hypnosis uh it was on a tape nonverbal hypnosis back in the 60s early 70s where a woman would come in, sit down in a chair, and they would they would touch her and they wouldn't say a word to her, tap her, tap her on the head. Okay, you can go. She'd come back a week later. Oh, I quit smoking. I lost 20 pounds. Uh, my diet's changed. All this stuff was happening because they, you know, they 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 were like, well, we gave her, you, you know, in, in, in hypnosis, it's it's the it's it's suggestion, right? It's all we're, we're suggesting this, but they were like, yeah, we're suggest our suggestions are all just we're just thinking them. But they, but you know, you're going to quit smoking. Life is better when you're not smoking. But I, when I saw that, I always remembered that from that training. And I discovered another, another doctor showing how we have portals in our cranium, not the cranial sutures, different portals. And there's, there's one very specific one that allows this level of thought transfer. That's pretty wild. Wow. wow. That's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. Um, pretty wild okay we're wrapping up now but i have a question how does your well a couple of things how's your family how did they accept what you're doing as far as i know your brother's um a doctor chiropractor and they're your sisters in medical they're in different facets do they think uh do they think you're a little cray cray when you <laughs> did you am i frozen no you're okay now Fine. did you hear the question <laughs> okay Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. My, uh, one of my sisters has studied with me and so she's using the work every day. She loves it, but I've always been kind of considered the, the, you know, you know, the crazy one. So none, none of it was, they're not surprised. Let's put it that way. Hey, we're all crazy. That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, we all are. Yeah. We all, that's why we're here. Right. I, cry a little I have a quick question. Um, I've got a client that had a really rare cancerous tumor in the Zoans and they had to take out everything just to get back to that zoas. But in the process, they cut the femoral nerve. So she's permanently paralyzed in that leg. Oh, God. Really bad edema. Is something like that? Can TNT work on something like that? 
Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, that that's a no, that's a peripheral nerve, and so uh, those those can regenerate, and they do. Uh, lion's mane is really good for something like that. Um, the work itself would be really good for that because anytime we've been snipped, it creates inflammation. What does inflammation do? It allows for these microscopic nanobacteria, cell wall deficient, these these little tiny pathogens that doctors don't even we don't even study that stuff. I yeah. remember when we looked at cell wall the, the fission forms in school, it was one minute study. <laughs> and and uh, you're like, oh, we don't have to worry about those. Right. There's a whole book on those out there, a whole book on them, whole thick thousand page book showing how these things are. This is how antibiotics are becoming, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, the bacteria is becoming antibiotic resistant. They're changing right. their cell wall. And so all of a sudden, all these drugs that used to work don't work anymore. And so we're getting more and more of that happening. I don't remember your question exactly, but oh, well, with, I was the just wondering, nerve, like, with the femoral nerve, yeah, you would, you know, so we would look at the, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, it's a major nerve, yeah, 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 but it, there's no reason it can't, the only thing that will stop that from not growing back is your belief or her belief, if you uh, believe it can't, it won't, and so you can, you can use these to work on that, because again, if they cut it, you ever have a paper cut that wouldn't heal? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we uh. all have. Right, I got one right now, a little tiny paper cut. And I'm like, go away, you know, yeah. because because bugs in our body move up there and set up shop and make them longer, take longer time to heal. You want to know how healthy you are? Give yourself a paper cut. See how fast it heals. Interesting. Oh. That's how much burden you on your body because they will go anywhere there's inflammation. That's why when people get injured, sprained ankle, broken bone, this sort of thing. Bugs move in there and set up shop. This is why they they don't heal. It takes a lot longer to heal, a lot longer. It takes time for the immune system to come up with the right chemicals to go after these things that are changing shape, trying to hide from it. It's uh, it's all part of it's all part of the class. It's just, it's just a different uh, understanding of how these things are are are, are uh, hindering our healing. So I have a bunch Lossity. of bugs that set up shop in my groin, ah. and they're not moving. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And they're very happy. Yeah. Do we want to fix that? They're very happy. Yeah, but we uh, we have to wrap yes. up. We have to <laughs> let's make our okay. Yeah. So let's final, wrap up and then I'll send it to you. A final question. Thank you. Yes. Yes. A final question. Well, Joanne, do you have anything else? Um, no, I, did, I Those are my main questions. Okay. Um, so, Doctor T, uh, this is beacons of balance, and we talk about being in balance. So, you yourself, what do you do for for Doctor T, for Anthony K Hill? um during the day at the end of the day to put yourself back here well i i listen to my relax to heal just about every day that's on my website it's free there's a heart resonance technique that's on there i do that every day i do a lot of visualization i do a lot of, and and some people be like oh well you're meditating well for me it's visual visualization it's more metaphoric i do meditate um i i i always i'm always listening whether it's hypnosis or ocean sounds um, I do energy uh, style exercise. I don't lift weights. I don't run or jog. I play disco. I have fun. Um, I swim in the ocean every day when I'm here. Um, I definitely get my feet in the earth and I eat really well. Uh, lots of fresh foods. Uh, really, our mind is, uh, is the key to, to, you know, good health. You know, what do we, how do we feel? How do we thinking that we feel? Giving gratitude every day to feel well. I mean, I feel absolutely, I feel blessed. I think I've only missed two days in the office and, you know, 25 years and, and, um, uh, you know, I, I think that keeping the mind in the right place, you know, that, that's what feeds our body, you know, and, and if we, if we don't feel well, well, that's, that's, it'll start, you know, the body will start moving towards that direction. And yeah, I do, I, I have a lot of massage. I'll do, I'm a big fan of massage. I think everybody should be, get massage at least once a week. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we need it. We're in this very stressful, stressful world. And, right. and I just think that those are, if you want to stay healthy and balanced, those are the things I do. And also laughter. Laughter. It, it, it is, laughter laugh. is key. <laughs> yeah. it, it, if it's not fun, I'm not, I'm, yeah, yeah, you yeah. won't see me around there. We're the two <laughs> that are just, I always said this when I met my now husband, when we were on, you know, met online. Anyways, he was sitting across from me and I said to him, my middle name is F U and his eyes went, and I said, it's F-U-N. And if you're not F-U-N, I don't want to know you. <laughs> very, very good. Very, yeah. very good characteristic. Needed. That's, that's, yeah. That's that one is, yeah. So thank you for being here. Yes, with thank me. you for so everyone, much. Amazing. Everyone out there, thank you for um, seeing us, listening to us. And from our hearts to yours, always in total love and peace. 
Mm-hmm. Um, all of Dr. T's information will be listed below. Please subscribe, like, leave your comments. We want to grow. <laughs> we want to grow. So keep us growing. And right. always in total love and balance and peace. If you have peace, you have it all. Right? Exactly. You're not worrying about, not about anything else. You're more powerful than you realize, guys. You are beautiful. Thanks. Continue to be those beacons of light. Let it out there and connect with everyone and love. Thank okay. you, Dr. T. Thank you, You're Dr. T. You're so welcome. I'm awesome. so glad we finally so connected. Have... And looking forward Likewise. to meeting you in person. That was fun. Likewise. I can't wait. Thank you. Have a good day. Can't wait.